And then we have the cube there drawn. Now, the key to using size metric with the RC cube is basically learning subtraction and addition techniques. Now we're going to do isometric addition first. Basically, the process of adding form or adding extra shape or volume to the initial shape. So we're going to add a 50% more shape or more volume to this initial cube. Okay, so we're going to align the end of the point of this cube here with this point here. And there's a little mark here as well. So we're going to line it over, make sure it's in line, take time with this bit. Okay. Okay, I think that's just right. And then draw around the end and we're drawing half the cube again, but we're actually adding on to the actual initial cube. Okay, so we've got the sort of mark there on that dot. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Gently on the dot. Connect up the line there. Back on the dot of the pencil. The corner there. And there you have it. Um, we've got the initial addition technique shown where we've actually elongated the initial cube to form a cuboid. Okay, another key principle is isometric subtraction. So we're going to take a cutout on the center of this initial cube. Again, a layer cube over, so you've got the correct angle, which will be 30 degrees. Draw a line over, go along the edge, make sure it's all aligned, have a double check, and then what we can do, align it to the corner here, go along there, and we're going to do the front face, again, align your skew up to the edge, and then Front mark there, make sure it's all aligned. Okay. okay. So I just draw these corners in. It's surprising how effective this technique is. When you slice in the rubber on the end of the pencil, just rub away this corner. And you can see how effective that looks. You can just Touch of little details, that's fine to do. Okay, now we can also subtract the front, so I'm going to just mark a point here. Yeah, mark a point there, point there. Join them up. Check the alignment. Go on to the other side. Again here. And then just join up in the line, be parallel, parallel there. Just put your pencil in first. And take it through. If we use the rubber, we can rub away this corner. All this away. And again, we can rotate the paper. Okay, and there we have isometric subtraction, isometric addition of the initial cuboid. Now to make it a bit more three dimensional, so truly 3D, we can think about light source and adding tonal shading values, light, medium, and dark tones. With light being on the top surface, we we'll give this a light tone here, well, medium tone there rather, and then a dark tone on this side here. Okay, let's go. So, I'm going to think about adding the light tone first. So, again, on this side, the key is to get this done really quickly so the colour blends together. Rotating the paper. Okay, I remember I've done that bit, so let's just go right over. 
because that connects to it now. And if any gaps are there, don't worry, it gives it a nice sketch-like quality. And can accentuate those at the end anyway with marker or fine liner. Okay, all right. Okay, let's get myself a, a darker grey. And let's, yeah, let's go with a fine tip, it's really good to use. I'm going to add a dark tone now. Rotate the paper, it helps so you can see the line you mark what you, yeah, what you render into. And little squiggles can make it a good bit more, a bit funky, a bit sketch type quality. Okay, I'm going to just a slight detail because we've got sort of an angle here. I'm just going to add a, just a bit of a detail there, like that. Okay, right, fine to do, a little detail there as well. Okay, got one kind of nearly inside here. It's facing the other way, so let's get a dark tone on here. It's nearly done. Okay. One last thing to do. Really important part. It has a sort of final touches, accentuating some of the corners and the lines and some of the shading as well. Don't overdo this but you can just accentuate some of the corners. We're there. A three dimensional shape utilizing isometric subtraction, isometric addition.